We're here with head women's basketball coach Kate Peterson Abiad. Can you just give your overall thoughts on tonight's loss at Youngstown State? Well, uh, it's just really disappointing to keep losing this way. Just heartbreaking losses, game after game. Um, always going back, going down to the last, you know, minute, 55 seconds, and you know we need to stop or we need to we need to hit a basket, and um, it just gets very disheartening to, you know, have have it come out on the wrong end every single time. Um, our kids are really battling hard, and tonight I was really proud of them. I thought we played a better game of basketball tonight than we have in probably the last two weeks, and it was really competitive and uh, very aggressive, and I thought our kids had a lot of confidence and played very assertively on the basketball court, and, you know, again, it came down to the last few possessions, and, and we weren't able to pull it out, and that's um, that really, you know, hurts when it happens that way. You were able, able to control play during most of the first half, going into halftime with a lead. Can you talk about what changed the, the start of the second half and how they made a push to come back? Well, a couple of things happened. Um, you know, one, I think they were making some adjustments because we were we were playing a bigger lineup. Um, but what happened was Brandy Brown got going, and, and she's just a phenomenal player, and uh, we had difficulty getting stops with her. We, we contained her drive, which was a little bit of a problem in the first half, but she started posting up and, and getting some things around the block. Um, second thing that happened is they hit, I believe, three consecutive three-point shots during a stretch of the game, um, and Monica Tuvel just really just got this much of a window and hit shots, and um, you know that really, really affected the momentum of the game. And, all of a sudden, you know, instead of being in the lead, <clears throat> we're coming from behind, and and it's just a different perspective. Once again, you had three players score in double digits. Can you talk about the offense? Well, you know, I think this game, um, like our last games, everybody, everybody understands that if they can just do a little bit more, just give a little bit more and, you know, be a little bit more effective offensively and defensively, we can get over this hump. I mean, we're so, so close. We talk about one one rebound, one box out, one uh, less turnover, um, you know, one one extra free throw. Um, that that's what it ends up coming down to. And so everyone is <clears throat> trying to do their part, trying to step up and and make plays for us. And you know, I was really pleased tonight um, with the aggressive play of Kirsten Green. I thought she did a great job getting to the basket and, and directing the team. Um, Shea, of course, played well, and um, and then Corey hit some shots too. I also thought Haley did a nice job. Mani. Um, they had big jobs trying to guard uh, Brandy Brown, and um, I just I was really pleased with with our effort. It wasn't about effort; it was about you know uh, just came down to the last few possessions and getting stops. And we shot well from the floor. We rebounded it well, um, and then when it came right down to it, you know they hit big shots, and, and we were unable to. Shea went and ended the contest with nine rebounds today, and is now the all-time leader at Cleveland State in rebounds. Can you talk about her performance tonight and all throughout the season to reach that goal? Well, we, you know, we just we just knew it was a matter of time until she reached that um, that goal, and I don't even I'm sure she doesn't even know um, that that wouldn't be something that was on her mind. She wants to help us win games, and her effort on the boards has been consistent since she arrived on our campus four years ago. Um, you know, she is a special rebounder. I mean, she just she has a knack for both offensive and defensive rebounding. She rebounds um, much bigger than her size. I, I feel like her extension, her ability to track the ball and, and rebound it is exceptional. And you know, she deserves to to go down in the record books as the as the best ever. And um, you know, I think it's going to be a tough record to beat. Thank you very much. Thank